Mid States Corridor Project has been a highly debated project for many years. It's a proposed four lane expressway that would run through southern Indiana. The Indiana Department of Transportation has given that Mid States Corridor Project team permission to proceed with what's called the first tier two study. News 10's Madison Zaleski visited Martin County today to speak with local residents about this proposed project. This farm in Martin County has been in Jason McCoy's family for more than a century, but McCoy says this farm sits right in the middle of the proposed path for the Mid-States Corridor project. It's not just about the loss of farmland and the loss of property. It's about the loss of our way of life. Jason McCoy's farm sits on 160 acres of land, but the proposed path for the Mid-State Corridor is expected to take a chunk of his land. The road will come over and take out approximately 40 acres of our farm, um, just the corner of our farm. But uh, my cousin's farm is next door to ours. It will go right over the top of his house. The Mid-State's Corridor generally follows US 231 from Interstate State 64, passing east of Huntingburg and the Jasper area, and extends north to connect to Interstate 69. The proposed highway is meant to improve transportation and connectivity. Work for Tier 2 will begin in Du Bois County. This section of the study will determine alignment and access plan for the new highway. Nicole Minton with the Mid-States Corridor Project says she understands there are strong emotions involved. She encourages residents to continue to share their thoughts at the public information meetings. And we'll be looking at how to minimize those through the study. And uh, that's, you know, particularly why we need the property owner uh, information for them to coordinate with us and let us know. Minton added that residents within the 2,000 feet wide corridor will receive letters indicating crews will be on their property for land surveys. But McCoy feels his opinions are not being considered. And that's why a lot of people are here wearing these stop the mid states corridor signs because they don't want it. He's concerned it will not only divide family farms, but damage the local economy. If we bypass our communities like they bypassed other communities, our community will wither and die. This road will be very good for the wealthy businessmen who own trucking companies, but it'll be very bad for our community. This particular section of the Tier 2 study in Du Bois County is expected to take three years to complete. Potential construction won't start for several years, and residents like McCoy say he will continue to fight this project. Reporting in Martin County, Masson Zaleski, News 10.